and I continued to lose weight. And I thought, there's something going on here. Like, this is not just a nutrition program. This is not just a uh, diet and exercise. This is my client, Rachel. We're going to be going over a little bit about her testimonial and her, her time here with uh, us at Coach Hayward. Very, very excited to jump into her case as she's absolutely managed to just absolutely crush her transformation. And she's got quite an awesome and interesting story. So without further ado, welcome, Rachel. Um, why don't we start off first with you just kind of sharing about yourself, you know, who you are, what you do and everything. Sure thing. Thanks, Caden. Um, my name is Rachel. I'm a, a shift worker. And often there's times that uh, I've skipped meals because of work or had a hard time figuring out what I was going to take to work because we work long shifts. And uh, for probably the last 30 years, I've struggled with my weight and didn't ever really have any success. I just kept going up and up and up on the scale. And I really had lost hope. Um, it's been uh, quite a journey over the last six months. I can't tell you how much I've appreciated all the support, not just from the coaches, but from the rest of the team and the people that you get to interact with on all the different apps and Facebook. It's just amazing. Awesome. It's changed my life. That's amazing. That's, a, that's amazing, Rachel. So after like, cause a lot of people we talk to, you know, they're similar to you. They've been struggling for like, you know, 10, 20 plus years with their weight and stuff. What was it for you that caused you to join? And especially like the CH family, like, what was it for you that, you know, made you take that step forward that so many people have a hard time doing? Really? I'd been kind of watching on Facebook, your progress with your business, Caden. And I, I, uh, knew your mom and, and I, was just kind of following along and I kept seeing the results that people were posting and sharing. And what resonated with me so much was your dad and the fact that he worked crazy shifts too. And I thought, you know, geez, if, if Caden's dad can do it and he had amazing results too, I thought, you know, I, I really need to reach out and find out more about this. So I did, and you were amazing, and we talked about all the different challenges that I had faced, and you had a lot to say about, you know, you didn't push me into it, you said this might be the right fit, if it's not, I understand, but um, just the knowledge base that you had when I talked to you, it solidified I really needed to try it. Awesome. Awesome. And I'm so glad you did take that step forward. Cool. Now, in the, in, the, <laughs> in the past, when we do look back, like, what were some of those challenges and those struggles that you were facing when trying to make this change? I know one is definitely the shift work and the hours and stuff trying to work around that. What else did you find that like, were some of like the biggest roadblocks here over these years of trying to just lose that weight and make these changes? The biggest roadblock for me was a medical condition that I have. And it um, seemed like it was such a shadow over my whole life. So I had not only a, a lack of energy, but I had what I thought I had been doing right all along nutritionally uh, and never saw results. I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll never be able to lose weight. And in fact, had been told by a specialist that I saw not to expect to ever lose weight, that I would have to eat as healthy as possible and exercise and maintain the same weight I was. And I wasn't maintaining that weight. I continued to gain. So I, I thought it was impossible. I really, truly did. But I, the thing that hooked me thinking that I wasn't going to lose weight uh, was I just wanted to be healthy and feel healthy and feel like I had energy. And so that part of, of the program I saw as doable and being something that was going to really make an impact on my life and my energy levels. And it did. But then I started to lose weight too. <laughs> Holy crap. What's going on here? And not only did I lose weight, but I had an injury at work, which meant I couldn't work out. And I continued to lose weight. And I thought, 
there's something going on here. Like this is not just a nutrition program. This is not just uh, diet and exercise. This is changing the way I think about food. Yeah. It's changing the relationship with food. It's changing my my thought process, my mindset about all the times that I failed before um, and went back to say binge eating or having emotional, like being really emotional and having a whole bag of chips and then feeling like, oh, I might as well just eat whatever I want for the rest of the week. And now I realize I can have some chips and I'm, I'm good with some chips not a whole bag, just some chips. Um, it's a lifestyle. It's a whole way of viewing nutrition and I can still have the things I want, but I don't go overboard anymore. That's amazing. That is amazing. You're so right. Like you said, it's, it's not just, you know, a nutrition plan or, or a diet plan or a workout program. It's, it's the mindset shift too. And I remember us talking about this about how you're going to have that, that mindset shift and it was going to happen. I remember specifically when you started to have that and, and Diane was telling me too, and it's amazing to see where you're at now, which we'll jump into here uh, soon, but it's crazy to think that even these specialists and stuff told you that you couldn't lose weight. And I remember you told me yourself on our call, looking back five, six months ago, you're like, you know, I don't even care if I lose weight, Kate. like, I just want to get healthier. Like I just need to get healthier. And I was like, you just wait. Like <laughs> and, and, and it was exciting. And then you, the pounds just start dropping. So what were some of these accomplishments though, that you are able to, you know, break past all those 30 years, all those people who said, you know, you couldn't do it. Like what were some of the accomplishments you accomplished to Rachel in just that short time frame? Oh, aside from the weight loss, you mean? Because oh, like, my I <laughs> yeah, like my coat, my clothes fit better. I have energy. I wake up and I, I usually I feel like I slept well and I feel refreshed. Um, I tried a whole bunch of new exercises or things like swimming that I hadn't done for over 10 years. I, and I love to swim. I hadn't done it because I was embarrassed about my body. And this made me feel like, I don't care who sees me. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. And that was a huge thing because I always loved to swim, but I didn't want to swim in front of anybody. I didn't want people to see me in a bathing suit. And that that's changed. I'll go swimming if I want to. And um, it's just like so many little things, eating out with friends, um, feeling like, I remember I had a wedding coming up and I said to Diane, I, I intend to have a couple of uh, adult beverages. <laughs> and there's a lot of sugar in the ones that I like. So um, we worked on a little plan and it was, I thought, oh, well, you know, for two days before I'm going to have to go super low carb to offset this. And I didn't, you know, the day of I monitored, you know, making sure that everything was going to be balanced at the end of the day. And it was fine. I lost weight that week, which was crazy, you know? Um, and when I do gain, cause there's been a couple of times I went up a few pounds, I just think, okay, well back to basics. And I have a basic to go back to, which I never had before. Yes. It's a lifestyle. It is just oh my- part of who you are. That's, unreal that's amazing you've you you just you've done such an amazing transformation even like the fact that like you mentioned how you know you didn't feel comfortable in your skin to even go swim which you love swimming like you know i can relate to that so much because that's kind of where i came from is like the insecurity part and you've not only been able to smash that but it's like now it's like you got control over the nutrition you can go out with your friends like you don't have to stress about it anymore it's just like you said, a part of who you are. And that's, that's the biggest like misconception most people have is that it's not just a diet plan you follow. It's, it's a lifestyle. Just you you build a foundation and you hit that goal and it just, you have that confidence, that control. And you've obviously been able to done it. I mean, you've lost like, uh, I think you mentioned like over 40 plus pounds. Now you've gotten off medication, like some medication. It's just, it's crazy to think. Now, what would you say though, Rachel, for someone who is like yourself or who was like yourself, you know, going through these battles, like 
either dealing with health issues, dealing with like insecurities in their bodies, or just, you know, wanting to make a change with themselves. Like, what would you say to someone who's on that fence and they're like, they're just so hesitant to do it? Believe that you can do it. Believe that this is a different program than any other that's available um, because it teaches you about food. It teaches you about eating in a healthful way. It's not a hundred percent salads all the time. You get to have the food that you enjoy and you still get to learn about how to eat so that you have the nutrients that you need to fuel your body. And it's, it's not even just about that. It's about moving movement. So you might not want to go to the gym, but if you get out walking every day, like that's a huge piece of the puzzle. And the fact that you have someone that you can ask questions to learn from, change that negative mindset or, a, you know, unhealthy way of thinking about food. That was a massive component. This teaches you all of that and it's sustainable. You can do it for the rest of your life. So you're not going to be stuck saying, you know, next year after you do a program, oh, I need to go back and do another program. Although you could if you wanted to. That's an option, I'm sure. Um, but you don't, you don't have to. You're going to have the keys and the tools in your toolbox to make this something that you do for a whole lifetime. Kaden, you, you said, you know, I was able to get off a medication that I'd been on for quite a while and I was really frustrated with it. Not being on that medication has made a huge difference. Um, it's even financially. Um, and to having the confidence to say, you know what, I, I know how to monitor my health in a much better way now. And I can realistically get off more medication. It might not be in two weeks' time, but next year, I expect that by next year, I'll be off two more medications. Because, it, you know, it's just, and I never would have said that before we started this, because you, you and Diane taught me so much about health, but about mindset and about how to fit things into my life that are healthy. And it, it, it's not like you don't have to go to the gym and work out until you hurt your body. You don't have to just eat salary all the time, you know. And for somebody in my age group, which is in their 50s or nearing 50, that's what we used to think, you know, in those old, old ways of thinking. So it's been... It's been so massive for me to be able to take part in this and learn so much. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, Rachel, I just want to give you, again, just another massive congratulations. And to those who are, who are watching this, like, Rachel is the most proof that you need that you can do this. Like, either if you do this with us or if they're doing it on their own, it's like, you know, even if someone tells you, like you said, you can't lose weight or you can't do this, it's like, you can like you got to believe in yourself you got to take that action and it's like Rachel is living proof that it can be done no matter how many years you struggle with it like it can be done so thank you so much Rachel for your time and sharing with this and, and inspiring probably so many people who are going to watch this and for those who are watching make sure you leave a heart or a like down below for Rachel to show some support but I'm so excited for these next months to come for you and this next year to get off more medication, keep crushing it. So thank you so much though, Rachel. Thank you so much, Kaden. And, you know, special shout out to Diane. And she's, I know we talk probably two or three times a week. Um, and then, you know, you, you jump in and, and chit chat with me too. And you guys really went out of your way to make sure I knew what I was doing and uh, felt comfortable. And I just, Again, I can't thank you both enough. You guys really changed my life in the best way possible.